Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a very important topic that has been on top of people's minds all the time and it is how to grind efficiently crystallization catalyst blueprints and in fact it's the same for energy activator blueprints and you know what it is not killing bosses on hard mode the footage that you see behind me right now this is basically me grinding and killing hard devourer a hundred times yesterday and uh, actually this is right where i was wrapping up the part where i was grinding for crystallization catalyst blueprints and I spent 50 amorphous materials with the idea to see how many crystal uh, crystallization catalyst blueprints can I get and 50 for energy activators and I ended up with only 11 CC blueprints and with only two energy activator blueprints. In this video, I'm not gonna be talking about that. This was part of the stream yesterday, which by the way, unfortunately, this video is not available anymore. Let's talk about the method. Method is actually gaining popularity very quickly right now, and this is grinding a specific outpost. You have a few viable options depending on the descendants that you have. Now, the reason why I'm doing this with Karen and it is recommended for you to do it with Sharon is because if you go invisible and if you open the cans instead of blowing them up you actually have a higher chance to acquire the rare materials um, which that's why everyone is doing these with Sharon um, to not waste too much time and to have a higher chance to acquire as you can see double drops or even just drops right um, this particular method I recommend because you also get the biogels. Biogels is part of uh, the items required for crafting uh, the crystallization catalyst. And I personally do this because, yeah, I do it. But basically, you can go for any spot. You can go for the one uh, in Vespers. Uh, it, is the, it is the fastest uh, mini boss that you can clear. Uh, and grind off however for those you would like to grind a little bit with Viesa and a little bit with Lepic or Blair um, to get enough polymer and monomer uh, void shards this particular one is good enough for you to just do it um, and grind it with Freyna if you have Freyna you just go to White Knight Gulch and you grind for um, for the shards. Now, let me show you very quickly three different options that you have uh, depending on the descendants that you have available. So if you have Reyna available, my recommendation is go for Echo Swamp. You can run this normal mission over here, uh, this outpost, which will drop pattern number 21, the amorphous material, and afterwards you open it over here. In order to open it uh, to activate this reactor, you need inorganic void charts and organic void charts. Now, don't do this mission over here because this is not very, you know, quick enough. Um, uh, it is recommended for you to go for night, night, uh, white night gulch over here for this mission uh, in the shipment space. Uh, if you have a public um, uh, team to do it over there, you will get your inorganic shards. The second option for you to go for is Vespers. For Vespers, however, in order for you to be able to have enough uh, required void shards uh, on normal mode, uh, you can go for the Lumyard outpost over here, which will drop you amorphous material number 13. And afterwards you open it over here in this reactor, but this one requires polymer void shards and monomer void shards. If you have enough monomer void shards, good for you. Uh, but if you don't have these, now Polymer you get from grinding with Viesa. Uh, Monomer you can get from grinding with Blair or Lepic, uh, the fire ones. So the way you grind for um, the Polymer ones is over here in the Frozen Valley. It's this mission over here. If you grind efficiently, it will take you about 10 seconds. Uh, with a full group of Viesas and, and a proper build. This is one of the fastest grinds uh, available and possible. Here you will get a ton of polymer and organic void charts. Um, if you have, um, if you still want to go for the Vespers one, go to Hagias and go to the Dune base over here and grind this mission for Monumer. Um, void charts. Um, you will get them a little bit less than organic ones, but 
With a very good party, you will get probably between 500 and 600 per hour. If you have at least three or four people grinding there with players or with Lepix, uh, doesn't really matter. Now, the third option, if you want to go and grind specifically, let's say you only have Viesa, um, you can go uh, on normal mode and you can grind in Wagner Desert at the storage over here for this outpost for a pattern number 27. And you open this up later on with polymers and organic one, right? So you will get organic if you do just the Viesa one, uh, you will get enough here. It requires a little bit more organic, um, but yeah, keep in mind that if you only have Viesa, you will be also be able to grind uh, this mission as well. It's the last one. So for 10 amorphous materials with a 15% drop chance, did I get one? No. But this is how you could efficiently grind off, um, you know, a bunch of amorphous materials um, where you're not required to run bosses and stuff like that.